Times have changed, I must say. I think education at one point in time was something that, a, a formal education, I'll call it a formal education. Going through school and stuff, yes, you know, it was important to get a degree and things like that, you know, or even better than a degree. Now people are gunning for masters and PhDs all the time. Um, but I do think that we're actually evolving into an age where education is something could even be skill-based, you know. I mean, I could study to be a carpenter from the time that I was young, you know, and I could grow up to have a bespoke carpentry shop. You know, I think, I mean, I'm, I'm talking about it in a very lifestyle kind of sense, but I think that is kind of the way things are shifting right now. I think education has, has culminated into a combination of experience as well as going by book. And if you want to be successful, you have to be educated, educated, not in a school kind of sense, but you have to know what you're doing. You have to have the skill, you have to study it. It doesn't just pop out of your arms and say, yeah, I can do this now, you know, woo -hoo! You know, you can't, you know. It, everything's a skill and everything has got an education behind it. Yeah, I think it's just, you know, because Sometimes in your journey in life, you never know when someone might, might screw you over now, but they could actually help you in the future. I think it just applies throughout your whole life. And again, it goes back to, to people. You know. um, I just think that people are one of the things that, one of the entities that you can learn the most from about life. And it's no harm speaking to them, you know, and just getting to know people. I think knowing their stories.